Deep inside California's ancient redwood forest where the light barely touches the ground and every gust of wind feels older than human history. Dr. Harper Thorne stood frozen before the largest sequoia ever recorded. She had seen giant trees before, but nothing like this. The trunk rose like a cathedral pillar, impossibly wide, impossibly old, and hiding something no one was prepared for. This was supposed to be a routine government-ordered health check. Measure the rings, analyze the bark, run sap tests, and go home. But the moment Harper stepped out of the van, she felt an eerie weight in the air as if the forest itself was holding its breath. Her team moved quickly, excitement buzzing through them as they set up equipment. Rangers had closed off the area for this special expedition, giving the scientists full access to a specimen believed to be more than 3,000 years old. But Harper's instincts kept tugging at her, urging her towards something she hadn't yet seen. That something appeared only when Dr. Green circled around the massive trunk. Harper, you need to see this, he called, his voice unusually tense. She jogged toward him and stopped dead in her tracks. A deep gash ripped through the sequoia's bark. Not a natural crack, not storm damage. Something had struck it hard, then stopped, blocked by something inside. Harper leaned closer. Embedded in the wood was a smooth white structure, curved and broad, as though the tree had grown around it, swallowing it whole. The sequoia hadn't been damaged by the object. It had protected it, preserved it. What on earth? Harper breathed. The tree sap shimmered like glass around the foreign object. It wasn't metal. It wasn't stone. It looked organic. A bone. But not a bone belonging to anything the forest had ever known. Within minutes, she mobilized the team, dividing them into units to examine the fallen surrounding trees, collect soil samples, and stabilize the gash site. Harper and Doctor, Green stayed with a strange embedded structure, taking photographs and carefully extracting microsamples without disturbing the object itself. The deeper they investigated, the stranger things became. More fragments appeared smooth white arcs twisting between the growth rings, fused into the tree-like threads caught in amber. The sequoia had been hiding an entire skeletal structure, one large enough to challenge everything science believed about prehistoric animals in North America. Harper's pulse quickened. This was not of a forestry issue anymore. This was a discovery that could rewrite history. She made the call immediately. Archaeologists, paleontologists, dendrochronologists, the best experts in the country. A full research camp was ordered quietly, discreetly, because if the world heard even a whisper, the consequences could be catastrophic. Within 48 hours, a full scientific task force arrived and built a research camp beneath the towering sequoia. Floodlights lit the base of the ancient giant as specialists from every field examined the embedded bones. Theories flew wildly, an unknown mammal, an extinct predator, even a species that predated recorded evolution in North America. No one could agree. No one had seen anything like it. But the deeper they scanned into the trunk, the clearer the truth became. This wasn't a scattered set of bones. It was an entire skeleton, perfectly preserved inside the living tree. And the sequoia hadn't merely grown around it. It had protected it for centuries. As word leaked into the nearby towns, rumors spiraled out of control. People whispered about ancient viruses sealed inside the tree. Others spoke of prehistoric beasts returning to life. Reporters gathered at the forest edge, hungry for answers. Government agencies arrived next quiet, serious, demanding to know everything. Under that growing pressure, Harper's team fractured. Some believed the bones should be removed for study. Others insisted cutting into the sequoia would damage a living treasure older than civilization itself. The debates grew louder until Harper made her decision. She called a global press conference. Standing before cameras beneath a colossal tree, she revealed the truth. The bones belonged to a prehistoric creature no science had ever identified proof that a species unknown to history once walked North America. Either the tree was far older than anyone believed, or the creature had survived far longer than science ever imagined. Both possibilities shattered everything we thought we knew about natural history. In that moment, the world understood. This wasn't just a discovery. It was a rewrite of the past and the beginning of a new chapter in the story of life on Earth.